Oh, we got a good one here. Oh, we got two of them. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Swing it up here, buddy. Hi, I'm Randy. I'm Alex. I'm Ryan. And together we make father and sons fishing. But today we are more like father and sons crabbing. crabbing. If you want to go crabbing and bring home a delicious dinner, Alex, what do you want to do? You want to watch this video. And Ryan, if you want to take some kids out for a fun crabbing adventure, what do you want to do? Watch this video. And guys, even if you're an experienced crabber and you want to learn a couple new tricks or hacks, what do you want to do? Watch this video. Let's get right into it. Now there are multiple ways to catch crabs and if you want to learn some more about different methods make sure you check out the crabbing playlist on our channel. But if you are going to go crabbing from shore or a pier or a dock and you want the most single efficient method to catch crabs it's going to be using one of these collapsible crab traps. When it's sitting on the bottom of the water it's a flat surface like this and you have your bait in it. But when you pull up the strings it catches anything that's in it. And what we found is this is the simplest and most efficient method to catch crabs. Or eels. Oh, whoa, an eel. Whoa. Oh my God. Or eels as Ryan has caught some eels or in this fish. thing. Oh, we got a fish. this is a new species for us guys. This is a red ear sunfish. What the heck? Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. We caught just about anything in these traps. Now, I'll leave links to every product we're using in the description down below. The first thing you'll notice is that these crab traps come with three strings. Now, these strings are super flimsy. They can break, they can get snagged. So, guess what? The first thing you wanna do, guys, when you get one of these traps is? Get new strings. You wanna get new strings. So, hack number one, is you want to get, and again, I'll leave the description of this product in the link below, but you want to get a more durable and heavy duty harness for your crab trap. And this one here has four prongs and this material, this string is not going to break. This trap here has been through a lot and you can get it snagged on rocks. You can just pull through it and it's going to be fine. So hack number one, replace the strings on your classable trap. Now with all these traps, you're going to need to purchase a string that goes from the harness or if you don't modify you'll, you'll put a string here now buying the string to attach the trap is not one of these hacks that's just something you need to do this happens to be some 48 foot crab line you can get it on amazon really inexpensive so you're going to do that you're going to tie it to your trap but here's the problem no matter what string you use, no matter how long, how short it is, it's going to get tangled up, it's going to get snagged, you're going to be like untying little knots, and you're not going to be crabbing because you're going to be fiddling with it. So, hack number two is I bought a PVC pipe, cut it into sections, drilled a hole in the middle, secured this string, and that way I can wrap it around so that the unused string does not get tangled up. And this is also a really secure method to transport the traps and to store them. That's hack number two. So guys, should we show them hack number three? Yep. I don't know. I feel like they're gonna basically catch all the crabs and not leave any for us now since they're gonna be such efficient crabbers after watching this video. <laughs> all right, let's continue on. Hack number three is, and there's actually a bonus hack in addition to hack number three, but hack number three is you wanna take some sinkers and you want to zip tie them to the bottom of your crab trap. So the sinkers are right here in the bottom and that way when it's sinking down, it doesn't allow the crab trap to flip over because if it flips over, you ain't gonna catch any crabs. And so what we've done is we've just taken little one ounce sinkers and zip tied them to the bottom. Now the bonus hack is that whatever bait you use, whether it's fish or chicken, basically those are the two general things people use. We happen to be fish folks just because we can either catch them or maybe we have some fish carcasses or we're going to be at a bait store. So we de generally use fish, but what I'll do is I'll cut the fish up and I will zip tie them to the bottom. So zip ties are really important because they keep the bait secured in the trap. Those are the hacks. Should we show the people that these actually work and catch crabs? Do it. Let's do it. So it is time to put those traps to use. I'm here under the Washington Bomb Bridge, which goes from Nags Head, which is back over there, to 
Mantio, which is right here. And this is Pirate's Cove. And it's going to be me and Allison and the boys. And we're going to be joined by some friends and neighbors who are here to fish a little bit with their kids. And we're just going to try these traps out and see how they do. Now, the crabs are lucky today because this is not a catch and cook video. This is just a let's get the kids out, have a little fun, and see if our traps work kind of thing. So let's check them out. Oh, we got a good one here. Oh, we got two of them. Oh, got mom got one. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Swing it up here, buddy. Nice. Wait, is it carbon too? Oh, probably. I'll bet he's a keeper. Hold him up one more time for me. Yep, he's a keeper. Lucky day, buddy. This feels heavy. Oh yeah. <laughs> You're not going anywhere, bub. Oh yeah. Nice. Nice, good technique. Look at Alex, fearless. Aaron's got another mammoth crab on here, I think. <laughs> you got a crab? Oh, okay. Okay, pull her up. Is she big? Nice. Oh, that's a good one. This is a good female. Here, Alex, hold on. This one's pretty good size. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was huge. I wonder if that was that same one. That was a big one, yeah. I almost want to get him up here and measure him. Yeah, right. Which one? Um, no, that was just down. What, what'd y'all do with the... Oh, Alex still has it. It's a female crab, you said, bud? Yeah. She's a good size. She's a keeper. Um, to point, to point, exactly, yeah. So she's easily a keeper. She's like a good five and three quarters. But we're going to... We'll let her go. That's cool. She's a mature female because this is darker. Mm -hmm. if, if it's lighter, that's an immature. They haven't laid eggs yet. Okay. So in North Carolina, you're allowed to keep the mature ones, but not the, not the immature. Okay. That's good to know, too. So that's, are we going to let her go? Yeah, we're not going to keep any of them, bud. Okay. You can let go. <gasps> Whoa. Wow, I didn't, I didn't see those there. <laughs> Can I pull out that? Yes. Is it crab pink and gone? I, I think it was worried that we were going to take it off and do something with it. So she was just defending herself, I think. She's like, what should I do? Should I get off or not? Nice. Got two of them. Hold on. Is there one, in, is one male and one female? Pull, hold it up here higher. One's male. Oh, it's a female. Okay, cool. All right, we got a male and a female. Okay, Alex, why don't you tell us the difference between a male and a female crab? So, first of all, this one's the male. Okay. And this one's the female. And what's the so difference there? So, the difference, there? so this thing right here is the, it's called the apron. Uh-huh. And you see um, on the male, it's it looks like a pencil, like it's more elongated. Okay. And on this one, it's like a triangle, so it's like wide. Awesome. Should we let these go? Yeah. Well, but another difference is that... Um, is that the females usually have redder claws and the males, you, this one's like kind of red, but yeah. it's more white. So that's another difference. Awesome. Should we let them go? Bye, crabs. Does anyone want to pull this for, this one up? Okay. You guys can do it together? Yeah. yeah so just what we're going to do is just pull it in kind of like, go real fast, go real fast. Yeah, real fast, real fast, real fast. Real fast. Go, 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 go. Ah, nothing. Nothing in there. So we're going to drop it back down. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Keep it, get it, Up, 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 up. <laughs> Did you guys? Oh, they didn't see it. That's 0.5. Dude, that was, that was not your finest moment. <laughs> now let's do this one here. One final one. Oh, you got one. You got one on the last haul. You want me to pick it up for you? Look at you, brave man. Nice. Is it a male or female? Female. All right, y'all, that's going to wrap it up for us. 
Now, the one thing we're not including in this video, which is really the best part of crabbing, is the cooking. We love to steam our crabs with some Old Bay, some other things. We've actually done a whole video on this, which I will link right up by Alex and our crab friend here. Now, we're gonna have our little female crab friend help us with the outro. All right, folks, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to watch this video when you're not already subscribed. Please consider doing so. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye, folks. <laughs> Is that a crab voice? Don't get those pictures too close to my face, bro. All right, let's let her go. <laughs> no look, release.